Hi everyone, welcome to On the Other Hand. I'm Ariane Zerscher and today I'm going to be doing the Italian Knotted Border Stitch. The Italian Knotted Border Stitch is a lovely little stitch to use around the edge of something. It can be done in a whole variety of different threads and different thread weights and I'll be demonstrating it with a variety of different threads and weights. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. If you want an email notification, you're going to have to click the little bell to the right of the subscribe button, and that'll send an email to you when the next video drops. I love hearing from you, so leave any comments or questions you might have in the comments section below. And don't forget to check out the descriptions because I leave a lot of links to anything that I'm using in this video, as well as explaining a little bit about what I'm doing. So grab something to stitch with, grab a needle and some thread, and come along and stitch with me. For the Italian knotted border stitch, I'm going to do the first demonstration using Sue Spargo's Eleganza thread in a number five weight colorway EZ47. I'm going to demonstrate it right here on this upper part of the flower, and I'm going to have the V going inward. So this is going to be my V, and here's going to be the point. I'm then going to wrap my thread around clockwise. I'm going to anchor it down. And it gives a little knot right here. I'm then going to come out for my next leg, wrap my thread around counterclockwise, pull up and anchor that thread down. I like to hold the wrapped part with my thumb just to secure it. Now, because this is an oval shape, I can make these legs increasingly large to sort of accentuate the oval shape, which might be kind of cool. Or I can make it just even. Now what I can do is I can put a little French knot here. I could do a little bouillon stitch right inside of each of these. I could put a little double cast on. I could put a little bead, but isn't that pretty? Okay, I want to show you ways to vary the Italian knotted border stitch because it really is one of those stitches that you can change depending on the thread type you're using and also how much you elongate these legs. The Italian knotted border stitch using a very different thread. This is Sue Spargo's Oriental Linen and I just just love the textured aspect to it. I'm just threading that up on an 18 chenille needle. I'm going to go ahead and use a circle template to mark where I want my, my V's to go. I'm going to have my V's going inward, although I could also have them going outward. I think I'm going to make this circle quite a bit larger. Now I could also do it off center so that the Italian border stitch is smaller and then gets increasingly large, which would be very cool. Maybe I'll do that. I'm going to take my chalk pencil and I'm just going to roughly mark this circle. So I have a guide. I'm going to come up. I'm going to keep these fairly close together. Wrap counterclockwise, hold with my thumb, just 
stitch down. Now, for some reason, I'm wanting to go counterclockwise as I stitch, which is unusual because left-handed, I usually end up going clockwise. But every now and then there's a stitch where it just feels right to go counterclockwise. So that's what I do. I go with what feels right, not what a book is telling me. So if it feels right to go counterclockwise, do that. If it feels right muscle memory-wise to go the other way, to go clockwise, then do that. I think whatever makes this easier is the way to go. I'm going to secure that. And then I can come back out and do my next leg right here. Wrap around. Secure. Come back out for my next leg. Pull that thread through, secure, come back out for my next leg, making sure that I don't go too far away. I want these to be somewhat uniform, although it's not really going to matter. But you can already see what's happening here. So doesn't it look like the petals? And this has now become the center. getting close to the end of my thread, I want to end it right here where the, that knot is. Pull it to the back of my work and then tie it off and start a new thread. Isn't that pretty? Using the oriental linen and elongating those legs. Here I did the Italian knotted border stitch in a silken chenille. And here I did it in an eleganza. And then I did little boya knots coming out from each valley. On my dog here, I did all of this in a silken pearl all the way around his body to give him kind of a, a furry look. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you found this helpful and it gave you some ideas of different ways in which you can apply the Italian border stitch to your pieces. Please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. I love hearing from you. So do go ahead and comment or ask any questions you might have in the comment section below. Here's to stitching together.